So what goes um, into yeah. a conversion then? You unbolt the hydraulic actuator off the side of the gearbox, which is then you can see all the, the selectors. The kit comes with a, a new part that bolts on in its place, which is now mechanically actuated. The cables that run forward into the cabin, the uh, shift tower that actually holds the gated six-speed shifter, the little gate, which is obviously the iconic part. They can't put the Ferrari logo on it for uh, fear of being <laughs> sued by Ferrari, but that's basically the only thing that's missing. You'd never know other than that. And then, of course, uh, add a clutch pedal. The, the tricky part is that with the F1 shift, everything runs on a hydraulic fluid, essentially ATF, and the release bearing inside of the bell housing is running on that as well. Generally, if you are going to do a clutch at the same time, you order a new release bearing with seals that are uh, set up for normal brake fluid. But if you're not doing that, which we didn't, then you retain the ATF for the clutch system. So that, that's pretty much how that works. Got to reflash the ECU to tell it's now, it's now a manual and reflash the gauge cluster. 